This is Andy Peel for Boxing News, joined by Matt Macklin here in Birmingham. Matt, a nice short trip for us today. How are you doing? Yeah, nice to have a, a local show. It's, I can literally, uh, well, ten, I don't even know if it's 10 minutes for me, to be honest. Well, we're spoiled this month because you've got Edwards, you fight at the end of the month as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Keep them coming. Exactly, Matt. This is where the Mecca uh, Boxing is, is Birmingham. Do you know what? He just spoke to a guy there from Queensland. He said, this is the, the easiest show we do. He said, because literally, we're at the hotel here, across the Rose Resorts world. You know, you got, and there's so many hotels as well. So it's not even like, you know, sometimes you, it's a big show or there's, it, there's an other event on it aside from the boxing. You should not always get hotel rooms on site. Where here at Resorts World, you've got, you got, you got them all. You've got loads, you've got multiple. You've got the airport, you've got the train station. You've got Resorts World for a bit of, for all the restaurants and everything. So in terms of, putting on shows this is the best place to do it lads <laughs> need to have more words with boxer there get them shows over here as well Matt um, but yeah but main event on Saturday night Liam Davis Shabazz Masood what do you expect to see two contrasting styles how does it play out I don't know it, it's a brilliant fight um, like you say two top younger fighters in their prime going at it um, I don't know who'll win it may the best man win um, away from all things Birmingham and this show this past weekend Catchall Pro Grey what did you make of Jack Catchall's performance? Yeah I thought he um, I thought he was a clear winner in the end obviously with the two knockdowns as well um, and I think I, I hope he does get a shot at the world title now he deserves it certainly um, you do I, did, I, do, I, I was thinking watching him I wonder has he missed the boat a little bit in terms of you know, three years ago was the, I think it was over three years ago when he fought uh, Josh Taylor the first time. And it was like, that really was his night. He should have won it that night, I thought. Um, and then sort of taking so long to get back to get another world title shot. Sometimes you think, well, in that three years, you know, I, 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 were those his prime years? You know, hopefully he hasn't missed the boat and hopefully he does get the shot and hopefully he does win it. But, you know, three years from when he was probably, let's say, really in his prime, so it's a long time. I mean, over social media and in the post-fight press conference, the one name that was mentioned in continuously was Tiafimo Lopez. Do you rate Jack's chances in a potential fight with Tiafimo Lopez? Um, Tiafimo, when he's hot, he's, he, 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 yeah, although he didn't struggle with Josh Taylor. You know, he boxed brilliantly against Josh Taylor. He, uh, he beat Lomachenko. You know what I mean? So he hasn't always struggled with southpaws. Yeah, or maybe he just struggled to get up for him. You know what I mean? Had a bad night as well. You know, so I don't know. Like I say, Tiafimo Lopez, I think he, he boxes, like a lot of good fighters, they can box to the level of their opposition a little bit and they can, uh, when they're in fights where they're meant to win easy or more, you know, more easily, they, they underperform. Uh, so it, it depends what Tiafimo Lopez turns up. Catrell is a pretty consistent fighter. He's an awkward fighter. Um, he, he, he's a difficult fighter to really look good against. He breaks your rhythm. Um, he's better than he looks, certainly. So, yeah, him and Lopez be, be an interesting fight. Another man who actually responded and said there's only one man in boxing who could make a fight between him and Jack Cattrall, that's Devin Haney. And Devin Haney pointed out that the man to potentially make it is Turkey El Shay. Devin Haney, Jack Cattrall, uh, any interest there for yourself, Matt? Yeah, I would because you know it's a, it's, a, it's another it's a big fight, isn't it? A uh, big name, big 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 opportunity for Jack Cattrall. Uh, it's a good fight as well. Um, obviously, Haney's trying to dangle the or lure or goad. He wants the Saudi money, doesn't he? <laughs> hey, why, why wouldn't he? Who, who wouldn't in boxing nowadays? Um, Moving away from all things, Jack Catchall, Regis Progre, uh, Anthony Joshua, obviously there's a lot of talk about what's going to be next for him. Hearing um, the reports and Eddie Hearn saying last week that maybe it'll come around a bit too soon, a February date for a rematch with Daniel Dubois. And now Daniel has been granted uh, permission by the IBF to have a voluntary defence. Do you feel like it would be best suited for AJ to step away from an immediate rematch in February? Yeah, it's definitely different. Yeah, probably, probably. Um, when would be the other day, May? Yeah, I think that probably... And also, on that note, and sorry to cut you there, Matt, um, Cabo Bacoli is a final eliminator for the IBF, so I imagine, I think that gets called after them to fought, fight. Yeah, I don't know. So, so um, look, ultimately, AJ's got to just do what's 
feels the right time for him, doesn't he? You know, where, where, where is he? Is he sticking with Ben Davison? Is he going with a new trainer? When does he get back into training? How long does he need? All these sort of things, you know, um, only he, only he knows those answers. Outside of AJ, who would you like to see Daniel Dubois face? I saw Joseph Parker say he's more than ready for that fight. Uh, uh, one which I think most people would be more than happy to see. Yeah, I think that's a brilliant fight. I think uh, Parker has had a, such a good run lately. He deserves a world title shot, definitely. Um, and Dubois, young man, you know, in the, in the prime, best form of his career. Parker in, in probably, I'd say Parker's in the best form of his career, even though he was world champion before. I'd say the Joseph Parker of today is better than the jo Joseph Parker that was world champion. So uh, that'd be a great fight. Both to Bois and Parker on somewhat rejuvenated runs, if you will, in this stage of their career. How would you rate Joe's chances against this version of Daniel Dubois? Uh, I'd, I'd give him a very good chance. Um, look, Dubois has looked really good, obviously, coming off the best win of his career, and not just the best win of his career, the best three wins of his career, back to back, Miller, Hergovic, and then um, obviously AJ. So he's been on a great run. His confidence is, you know, through the roof. Um, but you know, so has Parker. <laughs> so, so they, therefore, it's a great fight. Speaking of heavyweights, Matt, are you going to tune in to Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul? I will do. Because I want to watch Taylor and Serrano. <laughs> <laughs> fair answer, there, Matt. On that note, Taylor Serrano too. What do you think? Listen, if it's if it's a twenty percent as good as the first fight, we're in for a treat. It was what a cracker that was. So, uh, you know, they're, they're both a bit older. They're probably both a bit slower. So, you know, sometimes that can make for a more brutal fight. So, and, and listen, the first one was pretty brutal. So, I think we're we're, we're in for a cracker. Whatever happens. You have a favourite? Someone you edged? Yeah, look, I'm going to go with Katie, but uh, you know, Serrano. It, you know, it's a it's a proper fight. It's a it's a tough fight, a hard fight, and you know, whoever wins will have to earn it. All right, Matt. Listen, I appreciate your time. I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to get set up for his press conference. So thank you. Cheers.